going to show you about decrementing a, a value, and what I'm going to show you is a countdown app. So, um, you know, you've got a label, it's got a number in it, starting with 10, and every second it's going to go down by 1, and when you get down to 0, it should stop and, and some sound play. Okay? So I'm going to go to the blocks editor, and I've already got my components in. I've got a, I've got a clock component, and of course we want a clock.timer event. And, you know, if you look over at clock.timer, um, or sorry, the clock component, it's got a time interval of a thousand by default, which is one second. It's a thousand milliseconds. So every second something's going to happen here. And what we want is basically we want this label to change um, and actually go down by one. So I'm going to set the countdown label text property. So this, this guy is my countdown label, right? And I want to set it kind of to what it is, you know, its old value and I want a minus one from it. Okay, I just typed in a minus and now I'm going to type in a one and I can kind of get those guys, those blocks created for me. Okay, and I'm going to stick this guy in here. So what I'm going to say is I want to change the countdown labels text to what it was minus one and I'm going to do that every second. And as soon as I stick this in we should see the countdown kind of start start happening. Okay, there it goes. Nine, eight, seven, six. Uh, it's going a little slower than one second because my phone is projecting onto the screen, so it's, it's, it's a little delay. Now notice it's going to keep going, right? So we're not exactly perfect here. We don't have it how we want. We want to stop the countdown at zero and play, and play our sound. Okay, so I'm going to add an if statement. Okay, so I'm going to put this if statement here. And what I want to do is I want to check and see what the countdown, see where it's at. So I just did command C and command B and what I want to do is I want to see when that guy is equal to um, zero. All right. Okay, and when it's equal to zero, you know, I kind of want to stop and and play my sound. So when it's equal to zero, I'm going to do my sound.play and I already set my sound source so all I need to do is just say, look, I want to play it at that point. And I'm also going to stop my clock. So when I finally get down to zero, I am going to disable the clock. So I'm going to do the timer enabled to false. Okay. And I'll just go grab false over in the logic. Okay. So if I'm down to zero, play the sound and stop the timer. Otherwise, keep going down. Okay. Now I need to restart my, to test this, I need to restart it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just change something over here. So if I change my font size to 42, I think it'll cause App Inventor to restart the test. Okay, here we go. 10, 9, let's see if our blocks work. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there goes my sound. And it went down one more time. So I got slight bug here. Why did I go down to negative one? Okay, well let's check our blocks. If it gets down to zero, we play it, we disable the clock, but notice we do one more thing here. We set it down to negative one. Now timer will never get called again because our timer has been disabled, but that when the label starts at zero, we're going to go down one more time and that's what having that negative one. If we, if we want the zero to stay, we need to change this slightly. So I'm going to instead change this to an else. Sorry, an if else. And I'm only going to do this if I'm not at the end. Okay. And I think that will do it. Let's let's just test this guy to see, <coughs> see if it works. So if we change something in the designer, it causes the app to restart, at least the testing part of the app. So there we go. Nine, eight, seven, six and I think these blocks will will work. Cool, there you go.